white folks, what is the most messed up thing another white person said to you? I grew up in a small rural town in the backwoods of Manitoba. There were two doctors in town. They were friends. They came over from South Africa, and they were friends over there, too. And they were buddy buddies, best friends. The one had three daughters. The other was single, and he ended up dating one of the teachers in town. And so one of the girls was in my class, and the other was my teacher. And the teacher and the daughter were like this. One day, she tells a story about how she and her family and a bunch of other people tied a little black girl to the back of their truck and drove until the little girl stopped screaming, AK, she fucking died. So we put up anti-racism posters to show her her bullshit was bullshit. This was the poster that we made. I put it up in the class. The teacher, who was her friend, was so mad at me, she dragged me to the office. I ended up being suspended for a week for racism against white people and was told that I was going to ruin this ch town's chances of having a doctor. White folks, what is the most messed up thing another white person said to you? Okay, so I'm still trying to remember if anyone's ever said anything to me. But I do have something that happened to my mom. So my mom used to work as a housekeeper. And one of the families she worked for was a black family in Connecticut, a very, very well-to-do black family. And they decided to go to Martha's Vineyard for the weekend. And they brought my mom along to kind of help out around the house while they were down there. So they're being shown the house that they're renting. And the lady who owns the house who's renting it out to the family for whatever reason, thought my mom, who was the one white person in a large family of black people, thought that my mom was renting the house and would only speak to her. But she did it in front of the whole family, and my mom had no idea how to handle this because she's just the housekeeper. And white folks, what is the most messed up thing another white person said to you because my mom told me that uh, black people have purple gums because there's poison in their gums and if they bite you, you will be poisoned. And I was taught that when I was like five. And then my mom went on to fetishize black people entirely and was obsessed with the idea of me having a mixed race baby because they're just more beautiful. I don't know, she was that type of person. One time I had a meltdown so bad, I'm autistic and a lot of this stuff can trigger meltdowns and um, my mom was being very racist towards Middle Eastern people in the car one time when I was like 16 and I remember having a meltdown so bad that I just started kicking the inside of her car until it was like there was a dent. <laughs> Luckily I think my autistic disposition and my uh, ability to have meltdowns so fast has kept a lot of these like just more problematic comments out of my ears hopefully. <laughs> folks white folks what is the most messed up thing another white person said to you my father my father was so racist super fucking racist he talks shit constantly about black people anything that i did bad if my room was dirty he'd be like clean your room up your room looks like an n-words room or quit listening to that n-word music why are you playing with them n-words outside i'm like dad we live in the fucking hood okay i like to play with other kids i don't give a damn you know what color they are but he was like putting out a fire one time and he was like, if you just separate the logs, the, these logs are like N-words. If you separate them, they ain't shit. He was a terrible person and he died when I was uh, 12 and I'm glad. Favorite thing about myself is I'm nothing like him. Messed up thing another white person said to you because they thought you were racist like them. One of the reasons that I make the content that I do and say the things that I say is that the experience her husband had is not uncommon at all. For me, racist white men have no problem being racist around other white men. Especially when your appearance screams good old boy. Like, looking like this, driving a truck, fishing. They get real comfortable around me. And yet those same people will see my content and say like, Oh, you're just trying to divide us. Racism isn't as bad as you say it is. It, you're the reason that it's sticking around. Bullshit. Racism among white men is like a big boiling pot, and the public only sees the bit that boils over the top. But there's a whole big pot that they don't see, that I get to see, because the people inside the pot think that I look like I belong in the pot. Not saying the N-word to a black person doesn't make you not racist, it just means you probably don't want to get punched in the face. White folks, what is the most messed up thing another white person said to you? I kind of want to use this video to kind of address a red flag or, or, or a white person that I think non-white people should be uh, weary of. And that's um, the overly enthusiastic white guy. And when I say overly enthusiastic, I mean overly enthusiastic about you. 
if there's a white person who's constantly trying to dap you up and constantly trying to get you to dance and constantly calling your name and they seem like they're obsessed with you um from a white person i realized that those white people behind closed doors are the most racist they share the most racist things they laugh at the most racist things and they have the most racist ideologies um and it's and it's weird because when around people of color they become overly enthusiastic and they act like that so stay away from those people for sure white folks what is the most messed up thing another white person said to you i've kept quiet on this for far too long. i told everyone his side of the story so i think it's about time i tell my you all follow him you all think he's an amazing women's advocate on here bigging women up it's not really the case though met a guy on here talking to for ages he randomly drops the n-word on a phone conversation i said well no i don't think so that's that's not happening as a white man you can't be saying that he's out like, well like some of my family are black so i can they're happy with it i said well you know what not in front of me sorry it's not happening he's like, all right sorry it won't happen again we went out on a couple of dates second date in he dropped the n word again repeatedly and the p word i was like whoa nah i don't think so you know what like we're done sorry we are done full-on drops to his knee fake crying no tears goes up to my bathroom he's in there for a good half an hour rooting through my bathroom stuff and refuses to leave my house for two hours eventually get him to leave rings on the way home i can't get home the road's a block can you give me a different room sends me his address a fake one he still stalks me on here i've had to block him from everything he still sends me stuff to my address he will not leave me alone but you will still follow him not spoken out about it but now i have there's my